Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you how to make logos for your company or for your website. You are going to love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Alright, Photoshop Elements is open and we're going to go to File, New, and Blank File. Now make sure you have the white is selected and the width is going to be 1280 and the height is 720. Great YouTube video dimensions. Here's my big white window. Whoa, wait a minute, what's that? Oh no! Ah! Man, these tutorials can be dangerous. All right, I'm going to the Type Tool now, the Horizontal Type Tool. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a different type of font. And I think I'm going to select the ugliest font there is. It's so ugly! It is called O-C-R-A-S-T-D. What a great name. O-C-R-A-S-T-D. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm doing this for you guys to show you. You don't need anything great to do this with. And let's say the name of your company is CEO, or the initials are CEO. Now we'll go to Layer and Simplify Layer. What this does is it changes the text to an image. You look over here, you don't see the capital T. That means you now have an image, which is what you need to do the rest of this work. All right, we're back to the toolbar, and I'm selecting the Rectangular Marquee Tool. If you don't see it, if you only see a circle here, just left-click and hold, and there you go. Rectangular Marquee Tool. All right, make sure the uh, CEO layer is selected, or whatever initials you have right now. And I'm left-clicking, holding, and dragging. Now, if I try to move it, it what? I don't want to move that. you got to select the Move Tool. Now I'm just clicking on the left arrow key on my keyboard to make sure everything stays aligned. Back to the uh, rectangular marquee tool. I just want to show you this is really cool. Look what else you can do. Now I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. Look at that! Yeah! That is so cool! Alright, well I'm going to put that back because the round circles are just fine for right now. All right, we got the uh, rectangle marquee tool, and I'm going to select the move tool. And again, I'm clicking the left arrow key on my keyboard, so everything stays aligned really nice. And so where we are right now, we've got the C connected to the E. And now we're going to elongate the middle line on the E. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the, uh, the layers box so you can see what's going on. Now make sure CEO is selected and not the background at this point. Now what I'm doing is I'm hitting Control C or Command C for copy on my keyboard and then I just hit Control V or Command V for paste. And now I'm just going to hit Control V or Command V uh, several times. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's go to fast forward now. I'm going to line all these up. Again, we're, uh, logos are about connecting letters and elongating some parts of the letters. Now I'm, I'm holding the shift key. I'm going to select all the layers at the same time, right clicking and releasing. And I just selected merge layers. Whoops, I missed layer six. That's okay. I just right click and select merge layers again. Now we're at layer style, style settings. And here's the style settings box. So I'm going to click on Drop Shadow. Look at that! Awesome! And, uh, well, I guess you can work with the opacity. Maybe uh, put a glow on. Oh, Inner Close. I love Inner Close. It gives it like a round, three-dimensional look. Look! Check it out! I love it! All right, well, um, let's go down to Bevel. So you can, you know, adjust the bevel too. Again, it's going to give it a little bit of a different kind of look. Kind of cool. And that is stroke. You can check out that. 
and see if you like that effect. Okay, I'm pretty much um, finished up on that, but before you know you check out my tutorial, I gotta show you this one more time. I just want to show you. Let's go back to layer, layer style and style settings. Now let's go back to glow, and again, I, I want to show you this time. I'm actually gonna change the color uh, to like a light pink, which is right over there. You just click on that box. And see what I mean? That looks so cool. It's like tubular. Totally. But I think that came out pretty good com considering what the font looked like. Anyways, I'm going to give you a bonus video on how you can um, install new fonts. You need some squared looking fonts to really make this thing work. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, do me a favor, would you? Could you click on the subscribe button? Thank you so much from Info Puppet.